Well, here with two people that do not need any introduction, but Tim and Elfie, the NBC commentators for this week's U.S. Team Trials. Start with you, Elfie. Talk about, real quick, the U.S. team and, and what you what you see and what you're hoping. Fantastic shape. We started today with the men's first day of competition. It was incredibly exciting. I mean, there are some of the key names that we think and are pretty sure we'll make the team, but it's really taking shape. And some of the other names, I mean, one of the highlights for us was Sam McCulloch, who just wowed everybody. And we were uh, very impressed with his... Uh, gymnastics today and I think if he can put another day in he'll be he'll be on that team but it, it's shaping up really well the men's team for sure and the women's team we've watched every practice so I think there's are some surprises for Friday of course everyone's waiting to see if Nastia can hit a bar routine absolutely <laughs> and we did get to spend some time with the women during media day yesterday leadership could play a role in choosing this team couldn't it Tim well it could but you know I mean you could say that Nastia could provide that without a doubt I mean she was the Olympic all-around champion in 2008. But I tell you, Jordan Weber, you know, we saw her at the Classic, and she looked okay, you know. And then we saw her at Visas, and she looked a lot better. And I'll tell you, before this competition, she has looked unbelievably she great. She has that look yeah. in her eye. Too. Yeah, she, she really does. And, and there's nothing like a leader that leads with actions and words, you know. And so... She, no question she could fill that that role. And I know we're in for a fantastic weekend. And I'd like to ask both of you, just for a couple of moments here, about Inside Gymnastics. We're here celebrating 10 years. When you guys started in this industry, did you see, what, what, what did you think this gymnastics and this sport was going to become? Well, exactly where we're at today. I mean, 10 years ago, or if you go back even further, in our or in our time when we were competing, a long, a, a long, long time ago. No, no, no. It's a okay. Long all right. We don't have all ago. day to talk about that. But I mean, certainly the time that I was competing in the sport, I thought what I was doing was wow. You know, it was super stuff. And you know, seeing what these athletes are doing today, it does take my breath away. There are moments where I do get fully involved and immersed in, in what they're doing out there on that podium. It takes me back to our time and I think, wow, this is an incredibly difficult sport. It has become very hard and even more so in this Olympic year when we can only, you know, the U.S. can only pick five athletes or any country for their team. So very difficult sport and we certainly respect and appreciate and um, all that these athletes do. It's going to be um, a, a, an emotional weekend. It will be for sure. And, and just one last question, if we can close, Tim. What, what are your hopes not only for this team, this weekend, but also as we look forward and, and people watching at home, you know, what do, where do you see the future of gymnastics and, and maybe some tips? Well, I got to tell you that Team USA is, it's probably the strongest group, men and women, that we've had in decades. I mean, and that's a lot to say, you know. On the women's side, they are unquestionably the front runners, the favorites to win the Olympic gold, you know, and, and I think that that will happen in about a month. Um, on the men's side, you know, they won a bronze at the last Olympic Games. They did a great job, but this team, this group of guys, I, I really, I, it's almost you can feel magic, you know. You can just, you can almost, you can almost touch it and, it, it, it could happen, you know. We won a gold medal in 1984, and I was very proud to be a part of that group. But I'll tell you, this group of guys, if everything goes their way, they could challenge for that. And that, it would be a phenomenal accomplishment. You can tell they really kind of like each other and pull yep. for each other. That's kind of You know what? Special. I disagree. They, they don't <laughs> just really like each other. They beyond really. They care deeply and they are committed to one another. And together, they are stronger and better than they could ever be by themselves. And so that's the commitment. I was just going to add to that is that commitment amongst all these guys is the number one goal is a, a team gold medal. And that's why they're, they're there and doing what they're doing. Well, thank you both for everything you've given back thank to the sport, all the great moments. Have a great night tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.